I've been doing this since I was 12 years old, working for my dad, gave up my budding baseball career. Okay, I wasn't that good at it, but uh, yeah, I could have been a contender. In 1968, we began doing slicks. So slicks were printed paper, either front or front and back. Um, and then we sent them to everybody from Modern Album to Imperial Pacific to United uh, to uh, KM Records, Alshire Records. These people also manufactured record jackets, which they, since they pressed records, they um, stuffed them and things of that nature. So. In 68, we started printing slicks, and then people would come to us for complete products. So we had to reach out to KM Records and have KM make the jackets for us, manufacture the jackets. So I think it was 1988, 87, 87, Westwood One bought KM Records, and they didn't want to be in the manufacturing of that sort of stuff. So we bought their entire line. And that's what we make the old style jackets on. And the reason, part of the reason we call it old style is that's the way it's made. It's made with hands. It's done the old fashioned way. We've looked at other equipment to automate it. We've tried out some different ways to do it. It doesn't come out the same. We ship daily on the old style jackets about 20,000 and on the direct to board jackets about 50,000. Um, plus some various other things, you know, and of course there's box sets, there's a lot of other things in there, so the mix could go up or down, but that's pretty much an average. We like to start from the jacket design out, you know, because it has to protect the record. We have this piece of vinyl and it's got to be protected by the jacket. So let's start with something that works to protect the record. Then let us figure out how to manufacture it. Let us figure out, you know, what, what the paper wrap needs to be or how the board needs to die cut and fold and things like that. And it's amazing. People still are coming up with newer designs and different ways to do things all the time. Um, but it still has to get down to that basically 12 and a quarter inch pocket for the record to go inside and, and be protected. And from there on out, you can do what you want. This is one of the most fun times I've had in this industry. And as I said, I've been in it for six decades now. And to see some of the stuff that people are coming up with design-wise, um, because it, it's out there. And I find myself, as, as I've taught Rob to do, uh, anytime I pick up anything that's in a box, I look at the box and say, hmm, could this box be a way to make a record jacket? Could it be something different in a record jacket? Uh, and, and look at it that way, and look at it in, you know, how can we stretch it out, expand it, blah, 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 and is it capable of opening up flat so we can print it and then fold it back into something. But now people are doing things with plastics, and they're doing things with leathers, and book wraps, and cloth, and just all kinds of different things that they used to do way back in the 30s and 40s when it was truly a medium for um, a phonograph album which is, you know, kind of like the, your photograph albums were. These were phonographs. Now people are starting to look at some of those things and saying, you know, we can incorporate some of these things in new designs. And it's fun. It's fun to look at it and say, how do we make this? I use this a lot. Nobody ever bought, built, make my mouth work, bought a fan belt or a hair dryer or anything else like that and brought it home and, put the box on the wall. But people put the box on the wall all the time for a record jacket. You know, there's a certain connection that we have as humans to the jacket, to the sound, to the music. You're engaged in the music, but you want to pick up that vinyl, you want to read the notes, you want to look at the pictures. You didn't have that on a CD, you certainly don't have it in a download. And on a cassette or an 8-track, it was so damn little, you know, you couldn't read it anyway. So here we have the medium, the perfect medium 12 by 12 to put this stuff on and people need to take advantage of that in designing. What's important to the consumer who's buying it? Is it more photographs? Is it more, more content? Is it a booklet to go inside? Or stickers? Whatever. And use that as your, your driver besides the music. Obviously the music has got to be important. <laughs> 
or you wouldn't be making a record, I hope. But use that as a driver to, to make the whole package complete, make it meaningful.